Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. It is Friday, so it is time for my menu plan for the week. And we also have a little grocery haul. Um, I received a Thrive Market order in the mail. I have my butcher box that came this week, and I also did a produce haul. Let me tell you, that produce haul I did in the beginning of the week is gone. Looks like I need to do another one, which is a good thing. That means we're eating a lot of fresh fruits and veggies, right? I just can't keep it for two weeks. <laughs> I, maybe in the summer, I don't know. Well, in the summer, I just walk out the door and go to the garden. So it does definitely makes a difference. But anyway, that is what I am bringing to you today. Um, as always, my website will be updated late Friday night, early Saturday morning. You can get all the recipes, you can get a printable copy of the menu, all that good stuff. And if you would like a blank copy of my menu planner, you can go right to jonespointatplate.com and go to the free printables link and you can print out a whole bunch of different ones, one that will suit your needs. So I think all that said, let's get right to the menu. Um, Pretty good menu this week, I think. Good variety, a lot of soup, because we're doing a lot of leftovers. Um, a lot of leftover soup. I have a lot of soup in the freezer, so we are going to clear that out this week for lunch. So let's turn around and see what we're eating. Okay, on Sunday, I'm keeping it super low point for breakfast. Just some scrambled eggs with some veggies and sausage. On Monday, we're gonna have baked oatmeal Tuesday, sourdough pancakes. That seems like it's our normal Tuesday. Wednesday, egg, sausage, and potatoes. Thursday, guac toast with eggs. Friday, single serve French toast with a berry syrup. And Saturday, omelets and bacon. For lunch, no lunch on Sunday. Monday, we're gonna do a picky plate with some steamed shrimp, some cheese, vegetables, fruit. Tuesday, leftover creamy chicken soup. Wednesday, an open-faced tuna sandwich with some veggies and fruit. Thursday, leftover roasted vegetable chicken soup. Friday, leftover stuffed pepper soup. I told you it was a soup heavy week. And Saturday, I'll just be clean out the fridge, eat up what's ever left over. Now for dinners, on Sunday, I have a baby shower, so I will be eating at the baby shower. That is the reason I kept my breakfast so low on Sunday, so I have all my points to eat there. Monday is Valentine's Day, so I'm going to make steak chips and mushrooms over mashed potatoes with vegetables. On Tuesday, I'm gonna make a garlic mustard pork tenderloin with parsley potatoes and a vegetable. Wednesday, creamy garlic Parmesan chicken. That is a new recipe for me. I'm gonna serve it over pasta with a veggie on the side. Thursday, I'm gonna make a pot of stuffed pepper soup. Serve that with some bread, either my quick dinner rolls or some peasant bread. Friday, this is a holdover from last week. I never did get to make the halluski, so we are going to have that on Friday. And then Saturday is Pinochle night at our house, and I am going to make a creamy yogurt enchilada bake and probably serve a salad with that or some guac and chips or something. I'm not quite sure yet. As far as exercise for next week, I'm gonna to try to get three days of running in and the rest hit training. We'll see what happens. And that is it. That is my menu for breakfast, for lunch, and for dinner to keep us on track and keep that scale going in the right direction. Now let's look at what we got for groceries. Real quick, before I show you my grocery haul, I just wanna um, tell you real quick that ButcherBox is running its amazing special again. If you use my link that's down in the description box below, they are having free ground beef for life again. And what that means is, well, first of all, ButcherBox is a meat subscription box. You can choose 
from a couple different varieties. We always get the custom box because I want to pick what I want. Um, and we get the small box and we get it every six weeks. You can choose, you know, if you want custom or curate it by them, you can choose a big box or a small box. You can choose how often you want to receive it. And you can cancel anytime you want. There is no obligation. But right now with the special, as long as you keep your subscription going, you get two pounds of ground beef free with every single box. So that's a really nice little perk. And also with my link, you get $30 off your first box. So $30 off and free ground beef for life. Can't beat it. Butcher Box is all organic chicken, farm, fresh, um, grass fed and grass finished beef products and wild caught sustainable seafood and heritage pork raised humanely. So it is good meat. You can taste the difference. It's absolutely delicious. So if you're interested in that, use the link below. You get 30 bucks off and free ground beef for life. And I also get credit on my next box. And also Thrive Market. Let me just tell you real quick about that. I was gifted a membership and I haven't used it. This was the first time I used it because every time I would go on, I'd be like, nah, nah, nah. Well, I got an email for 50% off my entire order. So I said, you know what? I'm definitely going to find, I know I'll be able to find some stuff that I use. So I needed Lakanto Monk Fruit and they do have that. And with 50% off, I jumped on it. So I have a small Thrive Market box. I'll leave a link down below. Um, I think you get whatever special they're running if you use my link. I think it might be like 40% off. I, I don't even know because they change it constantly. So anyway, I will show you that stuff. Um, will I renew my membership with Thrive? Probably not. You can pay a monthly fee or a yearly fee. I probably won't. Um, I The stuff I got was okay, but I really like my Azure Standard because I love to buy in bulk. I mean, a little one pound thing of steel cut oats isn't cutting it in my house, especially when the boys are home. You know, I'd rather buy the 25 pound bag from Azure. So with that being said, I'm gonna turn you around. I'm gonna show you what I got and then come back to say goodbye. Okay, here is my little mid month grocery haul. It's actually more towards the beginning of the month because we did our monthly shop a week in advance, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, so I went to the produce store that's local to me, and I did end up running in the shop right for one thing. I'll show you what that was, but let's get to the produce. I bought garlic, romaine hearts, celery. These are zucchini, eggplant, cilantro, red peppers, orange peppers, and green peppers. I still have a ton in the freezer from our garden, um, but I just, these were like a dollar. So I wanted to grab those. These are for a recipe. Grab some green beans, some cauliflower, and then I got cabbage waste. I bought these four at the produce store. They don't have a lot of outer leaves on them and I need outer leaves. So I picked up these three at ShopRite because they still had all the outer leaves on them. These three were $8 for these three cabbages. Um, I just wanna tell you that so when I give you my total for the produce store, it's not including those. So I know it looks like a lot of cabbage, but you know we make homemade sauerkraut and we go through it pretty quickly. So we'll you know, see what happens from there. And then for stuffed cabbage, we need it cabbage. So it looks like a lot, but it's really not. So that's it for veggies. For fruit, I bought some Mineola tangerines. I thought I'd give those a try. Some bananas. I bought some, these are organic Fuji apples. I bought these to make a dessert, the crock pot apples. Some strawberries and some blueberries. And that is it. My total without those three heads of cabbage, my total at the produce store was $41. Okay, here is what was in our butcher box this six week period. I'll start with the stuff that I picked out. I get a custom box. So I pick out the six meats I want. And I picked out 
two packs of chicken breast. So that took up two of my choices. Usually I get three, but I'm pretty good on chicken right now. So I only got two this time. You can change it up every single time. And then I picked some top sirloin steaks. There's four of those and they are each four ounces, I think. No, they're each six ounces, I believe. Yes, six ounces, I think. I picked a bottom round roast. I'm gonna use this for Mississippi pot roast or just some kind of pot roast. I picked a bag of salmon and I picked a bag of cod. I have never purchased our cod, but my sister-in-law did and we had it there for dinner and it was delicious. So I grabbed a bag of that. That's what I chose for my curated box this month or my custom box, I mean. Now I get every single box, I get free ground beef, two pounds, and I get free bacon, one package. That was just part of the deal. When I signed up, just like the deal they have going on now, I get free ground beef for life. And then they had this one time, it was a one-time fee of $25. And now I get a pack of bacon with every single box. Then, <laughs> I'm famous for adding to box because they have some really, really good sales. So I added on a nice pork tenderloin. I added on a pork roast. I'll do this in the crock pot for porkette. I added on these because these I think are my absolute favorite thing in the whole wide world from Butcher Box, the premium steak tips. These and the, there's another steak tip I think. Um, what's it called? It's called, oh, I don't remember, but these are really, really good. And these were like buy two, get one free. So I added three packs of that on there. And then shrimp was buy two, get one free. So I added those on there. So that is my butcher box haul for the next six weeks. I also got an order from Thrive Market this month. Um, I was gifted a membership and I haven't used it yet. Um, the other day I got an email that there was a 50% off offer of your whole order. So I jumped on that because there were a couple things that I wanted to get. So I thought I would show that to you. And it's really, really packaged nicely. Um, I wasn't sure how it was gonna come because I ordered a lot of stuff in glass. So I just want to show you what I bought. I got three pounds of the Lakanto monk fruit. Oh, there was also a free gift. I got some women's multivitamins as a free gift. I had my choice of three different free gifts. That was one of them. I ordered some steel cut oats. Normally I get these from Azure standard, but I did not place an Azure order this month. Um, I only needed like two things that were in stock. Everything else was out of stock. So I figure I'll try again next month. So this won't last us any time at all. I get like a five or 10 pound bag from Azure, but that'll last us till I get a, my next Azure order. And like, here's how they package your glass breakables. I thought it was really, really well packed. And then when it's liquid, it's even put in a plastic bag. Of course, now I'm, okay, what this is, I'm not going to be able to get it out of here. It's Primal Kitchen. There we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Primal Kitchen barbecue sauce. It's organic and unsweetened. So thought I'd give that a try. Now I'm afraid to open the last of them. Avocado oil. That's something else I generally get from Azure in a bigger thing, but like I said, I didn't order from Azure. Oh, 
I wanted to try this. I make my own cream of mushroom soup mix, but to be honest with you, I don't love it. I don't like the flavor. I don't, I don't know if it's the herbs I put in or what. So I wanted to try this because it was better than the Campbell's. It's the Pacific Foods brand and the ingredients are pretty good. So we're going to give that a try and see if we like it. I ended up getting, that's what this is too. I ended up getting four of those. So that was my entire order. And with my 50% off, I paid $28. So not too bad considering the monk fruit's pretty expensive and avocado oil's not cheap. So I'm happy with that. Um, I probably won't order from them monthly. I'm not sure when my gift um, membership is over or not. If it's something you're interested in, I will put a link to Thrive Market down in the description box below. You can check it out if it's something you're interested in. So friends, that is it. My menu and my mid-month grocery haul. Um, you know, we do our big shopping once a month, but I just really feel like I've been eating a lot of produce lately. So, which is good because it means we're eating a lot more vegetables and fruits and that's what we want to do. So it's all good. So thank you, my friends, for spending a little bit of time with me today. I so appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to spend it with me. If you haven't already subscribed, I would love you to hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell, and every time I upload a video, YouTube will let you know. Like, comment, subscribe, and if you know someone who could benefit by this video, please feel free to share it with them and share it on your social media. Have a fantastic day. Have a fantastic weekend. Let me know down below if you're making anything really awesome this week. Have a great weekend, friends.